Hey Storm Riders, Lindsay Rainwater here, Inner Storm Intuitive, and first I'm going to apologize because there is no winning with the glare in my yard at this hour. No matter which way I'm facing, it seems like the sun is behind me, which is a physical impossibility, but it's still what it seems like on camera, so we're just going to roll with it. Uh, anyway, today <laughs> I'm having this like really great day where my higher self stirred up the tempest and I'm all over the place, but at the same time, so many fantastic and cool ideas and I'm wearing my waffles shirt with Gur on it. If you don't know Invader Zim, you totally should. And this is not a shirt that I normally wear because I feel like it's goofy and silly and I don't normally come off as goofy and silly, I don't think. And today it was like, no, I'm wearing the waffles shirt today because that's how we're rolling. And today I wanted to talk about um, your higher self and neck tattoos. <laughs> it's kind of where this all started. And there is a blog post that goes with this. If you're watching this on, on YouTube, uh, go to lindsayrainwater.com forward slash blog and you'll be able to find uh, the post that goes with this, but kind of just talking about the same things. And what started this off was thinking about our higher self and how it's tied in with our true self, our best self. It's that person that we want to be, that we know we are, and that we would be if we were totally confident. And most of us are not totally confident. I am not totally confident. And so that, that side of us uh, does not get shown off very often. Why? What are we so afraid of? And this kind of, um, in my brain, collided with the topic of tattoos. I love tattoos. I think tattoos are so freaking cool. I cannot get them due to a uh, skin condition that would potentially make getting them very, very bad. But if I could get them, I would probably be covered in them. I would have a ridiculous number of tattoos and they would all be very deep, meaningful, and really speak to who I was. And I would show them off at every opportunity. But then I started realizing there's an awful lot of people that I even, even that I know who have these amazing tattoos, but they put them, deliberately put them places to be covered up. Part of this is a societal thing because society still kind of is weird about tattoos. But at the same time, I realized that these people only show their tattoos off to people who they think will accept them, who they think will understand. And I'm going, why? You basically just took your skin, turned it into a canvas and painted a picture of who you are at a base level, the things that are truly important to you. But then you spend a bunch of time picking out clothes to make sure that it'll be covered up unless you absolutely want it seen. And I realized that we kind of do this with our higher self as well. And I was recently listening to someone or talking to someone who equated um, business with neck tattoos. They were like, wear your business like a neck tattoo because if you're gonna get something tattooed on your neck, it's going to mean that you are totally behind it. You don't care if people see it. You don't care if people stare at it or ask questions about it. And you, your business should be like that. You should be so passionate about your business and love it so much and be so in line with it that it's, no, it's right here everyone sees it and if you don't like it well then I guess we don't need to be chatting and I realized that that's really our true self and our higher self when it comes out it's like having the coolest most beautiful intricate neck tattoo ever and we're all running around with them we've got these works of art and poetry just in our very being it's who we are and we should love it but yet we go and we fill our wardrobes full of the biggest chunkiest most god-awful drab scarves that we possibly can and we cover it up because it scares people it makes people uncomfortable it makes us uncomfortable because if we were really to show that higher self and that best self, number one, we would make other people uncomfortable because they'd be going, you've changed or you're making me feel like this is something I should be doing and I'm not ready to do that. And we would, and this is the one that I have been dealing with. We would be looking at it and going, I have no excuse to continue playing small if I was really to just own this shit. That's been my problem. I don't want to show off the neck tattoo that is my higher self because then people would go, then why are you here? Why, do you, why are you still doing this thing when you could be doing all this? So <laughs> that's where my brain kind of grabbed onto that and ran with it. Sorry, I just had dandelion puff uh, land in my coffee. That's awesome. I have to fish that out. Um, and, you know, 
we even have days where it's like, oh, we're feeling kind of sassy and we're feeling kind of confident. And so we're going to show it off a little. So we wear like the, the sheer scarfs and there, you know, you can just kind of see the tattoo peeking around. But yet even then, if we get into a situation where we're around someone who's not like totally in love with who we are, as soon as they take a closer look and they go, what is that? We're like, oh, nothing. It's just a design on the scarf. And we try to play it off. So... I want to see more women in particular. I mean, guys, totally, you guys do, because we all have this, but I want to see more women in particular wearing their higher self, their true self, like a freaking neck tattoo, the coolest neck tattoo ever. It could be swirls, it could be a unicorn, I don't care. Picture your higher self on your skin, all over your face or on your neck. What would that look like? What would the coolest tattoo look like that is just 100% quintessentially you? What would that look like? And how would it, how would you wear that? Would it not be so cool to be running around with that unapologetically? To be like, this is who I am. And if you can't handle that, then you can't handle that. But that's on you. That's not on me. This is I don't care if that certain family member doesn't approve of who I am. I don't care if they don't like my neck tattoo because it's not their, it's not their neck. It's not their being. It's not their expression. It's yours. And people who don't like it, it's on them. It's not on you. So I totally want you to turn that into a, a little exercise. And I wasn't planning on that being an exercise. It just kind of hit me. Picture that. What would be a tattoo that would just completely and utterly show the world who you are and your weirdness and the best possible version of yourself? And how would it show up? I'd love for you to comment on it uh, below the video, below the blog post, wherever you guys are right now. And if not, just journal about it if you can and say this is what it would be. And the coolest thing about this is that it's not a real a real tattoo. So it can change, you know, from week to week as you grow and explore your best self and as you change, you know, who you are to reflect that person that you want to be and your future self. So I'm going to challenge you. Picture it embrace it and throw out those metaphysical or metaphysical wow metaphorical scarves and be like no i'm not hiding this anymore because if it makes you uncomfortable then maybe you need to inspect why it's making you uncomfortable because that's not on me so that is my video for today it's gone a little longer than i meant it to so i'm gonna let you guys go in the meantime but between now and the next video which who knows when be blessed and if you have not signed up for the higher self meditation go to lindsayrainwater.com forward slash higher yourself and download that it's free and it'll really help you guys sink into that space and get in touch with your higher self and ask her the questions that you need answered so i will talk to you guys very 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 soon